I have become my first grade teacher. <laughs> I need new glasses, um, but I can't get those yet. So I walked myself down to the little dollar store and I got myself some reading glasses and a fancy little chain so that I can just wear them all the time. And when I, oh, I need to read something, excuse me. Well, let me just read that for you. Oh, I need to see something far away, excuse me. Well, let me just see that thing far away. I am prepared. And my first grade teacher would be ever so proud. I'm sure of it. You hear them birds, y'all? Spring is springing. I'm reading through the comments right now. I can't answer right now because I'm in the car, but I'm reading through the comments when I'm like stopped. And so many people told me that I should have gotten that hat. And I'm telling you what, I am so sad I didn't get that hat. I went back to that thrift store again um, I think yesterday and I was like I'm just gonna go visit the hat and it wasn't there, the hat wasn't there. somebody has my hat <laughs> man I should have got that hat because I would have worn that hat I would have worn the hell out of that hat and people would have been like are you uh, going to a costume party and I've been like no this is just my hat what are you talking about lesson learned next time I'm getting the hat. <laughs> it's funny, I was watching, um, uh, do you know Alyssa from, oh gosh, I can't remember exactly her channel, this Alyssa Van Life, I'm not exactly sure. I'll try and link it below, she's awesome. Anyways, I was watching her video and she had just lost her van, Stevie Ray Van, I think, <laughs> which is a very, very cute name for a van. And it had broken down and she was getting a new van and she said that she wasn't gonna name the new van because naming the last van had sort of given her this attachment to the van that then made it that much more difficult when the van died on her. And I remember thinking like, hmm, I don't know if I could get that attached to a vehicle, but like, look at Tammy Lynn. She's just there waiting for me. She's ready to give me shelter. She's ready to give me transportation. She's ready to give me a place to sleep. I love Tammy Lynn. And I get it now, Alyssa. I fully, fully get it. But I'm still naming my vans because I like the attachment thing. I'm weird. Spring, you go on springing with your bad self. Y'all, something political is happening at my park. <laughs> my park, as if. No, I mean, it feels a little bit like my park. I come here all the time. They almost feel like neighbors, you know, because it's my park. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? I don't know. That's the question. Y'all, look, there's a queen here at my park. Doesn't she look amazing? Miss West Coast. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you so much. You have a great day. They're already packing up. I don't even think it's been a full hour. That's the quickest political event I have ever seen. That's how politics should always be. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. <laughs> I think y'all might have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Honestly, same. But don't worry, you'll find your way. I did. Spring, springy. Good morning, friends. I am feeling better than I have <laughs> in a few days. I haven't picked up the camera in like three or four days because I was just having a really poopy time. But I woke up and I'm feeling good. It's so weird. Like every time I sleep, there's like a reset or it seems like the sleep is when the reset happens. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but I had my reset. I'm feeling better. So I have two major projects that I want to do, and I'm trying to sort of figure out which one I should do first. One of the things is, you know, as y'all know, I am sick and tired of parking lots and a whole bunch of people suggested like neighborhoods or hotels. And I am petrified of them for some reason. Well, I don't know if it's for some reason. I think that it's because I feel like if I get the knock in a neighborhood, it's gonna be a police officer. And I recognize that I, as a white middle-aged lady, probably shouldn't be that afraid of the police, but I am. Mm -hmm. I am. I don't want the knock from a police officer. I'd rather the knock from just about anybody else, like a security guard or a store owner or whatever, like any of those people I, I can handle. A, a police officer is gonna scare the living pajamas off of me. So I, that's why I like really, really afraid of neighborhoods. I think though that I would feel better if I actually had, you know how some people have vans where they've got their privacy st stuff set up so well that when they have like lights on in the van, you can't see from the outside. Mine's not that good. Like the curtain that I have here, I probably should have gone with a blackout curtain <laughs> instead. As you can see, you can see light coming in from the sides, even from the back over there. By the way, um, I'll have to look up in the comments because I'm so sorry I forgot the name. Suggested using credit cards 
See how the credit cards are stuck in there? Well, they're not credit cards, but whatever cards to help keep the thing up. And oh my gosh, it works so good. One of the best comments and tips I've ever heard. So thank you so, so much for that. But I don't have it set up so that, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm light safe. My light leaks. My light leaks, y'all. And I think that once I'm not leaking light, I will feel better in neighborhoods. And I do agree that neighborhoods will be a much better place to be. I won't hear shopping carts going by. I won't hear the street sweepers going by. I won't hear the parking lot fights, y'all. What is it about parking lots? That invites the fights. I've been in two parking lot fights in my life as well. One of them very loud and raucous and screamy scream. And I never really thought about it before, but there's just, there's like an energy in parking lots or something because I have heard so many fights. And I'm not talking like, you know, fisticuff fights. I'm talking about just, you know, regular domestic yelling fights, like you didn't take good care of the kids or you didn't wash the dishes or I didn't like that dinner you made or bro or whatever it is. I can't tell you how many fights I have heard in parking lots and somehow I just don't think I'd feel, I'd hear those as much in a neighborhood. I just feel like it'd be a quieter, more peaceful sleep. So I need to do that and that's very important. But the other thing that I really, really need to do is, I don't even want to say it out loud because the work involved, oh my God. I need to level this floor. And yes, I should have done it from the get-go. And I was actually really mad at myself for a while that I didn't do it from the get-go. But after I did that, I just recently told that story about the first two months. I'm giving myself a little bit more grace about it now because boy howdy, that first two months was hard. And the fact that I didn't like take a bunch of time to get the bed right from the beginning, I'm just glad I got the bed right. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't get it right, but I'm glad I got it done. But now that I am in a better place mentally and, uh, you know, physically a little bit more, uh, maybe not a whole lot more in shape, but a whole lot less tired anyway. And I'm used to standing up more and stuff. Now I think I can address the fact that I live like this. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels like I just live on a slant and it doesn't matter. Well, number one, one of the problems that I have, I'm four or five months in and I still forget constantly. I forget to actually make sure that I have parked in, a, in as level a spot as I can. And once I'm in the back of the van and I realize that I'm really out of thing, I am quite often too lazy to do anything about it. I just live like that. But even when I do try and do as level a po as possible a parking, the fact that the floor in here is so unlevel, it means that no matter what, um, I'm living on a, a ho, um, just call me teeter totter girl. And it's actually starting to wear on my nerves. And I also realized too, that there really isn't any of these big projects that I want to do, the bedside table, getting the bed right, and most importantly, a desk of some sort, none of that's going to work if the floor isn't level. So this means that I have to take everything out of my van, figure out some freaking way where to put it, at least for an entire day, and then put down a floor, some flooring. I haven't decided exactly how I want to do it yet because I am worried about doing it with like wood or anything that will add weight to the to the vehicle so i haven't figured out how to do that yet and mostly i'm really just worried about like where first of all am i going to be able to do it all in one day i'm so weak y'all and infinitely infinitely lazy i mean my therapist would say my old therapist would say i'm not in therapy right now i'll talk about that at some point but my old therapist would say that it's not laziness it's you know, you know, all the like self-love things that you're supposed to say, but you know, in my mind it is still, and I don't even say it with like self-hatred or anything anymore, but it is a, a type of laziness, whether I, you know, come by it honestly or not. And I have to do things in spurts. Like my brain gets tired real, real fast. And so anything, anything at all, pretty much things I like to do, whatever, I have to do it in spurts. And then I have to take a little break, let my silly brain chill the freak out for a second. And then we can go back at it. So I'm not a honey, a honey, I'm not a honey. Actually, I'm kind of a honey. No, but I'm not a hundred percent sure that I could 
do it all in one day. So how would that even work? And where will I put the stuff? Because I'd have to take everything out. So I haven't figured that part out. And, and even though that is the project I really would like to tackle first because you know, huh, teeter totter. I don't think I'm ready as much as I really, really want to do it. I don't think I'm ready. So I think instead we're going to concentrate right now on just fixing the light leaks so that I can um, hopefully go to a neighborhood and be a neighborhood parking girl and face that fear. And listen, I ain't doing nothing wrong, police. Okay, so the first thing that we need in order to fix the light leak is to put a blackout curtain in the front there instead of that just like leftover fabric curtain that I made. And Mo Bang for your bucks, who is amazing. If you haven't um, checked out his channel yet, you're gonna want to. He has so many great ideas and he's so fun and lovey. I'll link his channel down below. He did this thing where he took like a shower curtain and then he like banged it and shaped it and made it so that he could like put it, stick it into his minivan sides there. So I'm gonna try to do that. So here we are in the shower curtain aisle. And I'm pretty sure that he used like something like this, a rounded one. But I'm thinking if maybe I could use something like this because it's already kind of got a curve and I could just flatten this side and stick it in. We're going to give it a shot. So what would have been good is if I would have actually measured to see how long I need. Do you think 86 inches is enough? <laughs> That's what she said. No, shush. All right, we're gonna take it out and see if we can figure out if 86 inches <laughs> is enough. I think it's gonna be enough, and it's only uh, uh, uh. now we gotta find our curtains. And I fully understand that the prudent thing to do would be to just get black, but I just my my soul can't take it. I need to have some color, so I'm gonna go again with a dark blue. It's very dark but it's $16 and that's kind of a lot. We're trying to go frugal here, y'all. There's black. And you know, here's the thing. I think black can be an excellent decorating color. So if I was like in a decent sized home, I, I would totally do black, but just being in such a tiny place, I need color and I might grow to regret it. We'll see. Does that make any sense? We're gonna keep trying. Okay, I think we might have found our pick. I'm not a thousand percent sure that 60 inches across Woo! <laughs> will be long enough because again I didn't measure but I can always bring it back if it doesn't work right and they're not black but they are um, very very dark you know that's dark and I think at night it's gonna be even darker although now that I'm looking at them in the light it reflects light hold on let's keep looking that might work but it is $16 and I don't really want those big old grommets I don't think and look how pretty that is but I can't do a pattern. I have to be good about it. So I'm back to looking at the black one, but it also has this shiny material that I think will catch the light from the outside, right? Ay, 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 what do I do? I thought about maybe tan because that's what the inside of my car is and that that would just maybe look like part of the thing, but I don't know, like that picture doesn't really look like it's actually very blacky outy. You know, I actually like being, you know, independent and all of that. Love that. But every now and then, I just want to have somebody that I can just, like, turn to and look and say, you make the decision, buddy. I'm out of here. And let them just deal with it. Okay, I'm just going to go back to my original suggestion. Sorry, I almost fell down there. <laughs> I'm just going to go back to my original thought. Um, and I guess if it gives me away, I'll know when I get the knock. Uh, or is that silly getting something that I know might very well get me the knock? Crappity crippity, I need somebody here just to make this dang old decision for me. Okay, there's this one. It's black, but it doesn't have like the shiny material. I don't think it'll, uh, you know, reflect quite as much light as that one does. But it only comes with one rod and it's only 42 inches wide. So I don't think that that's wide enough. And it's $10 just for the one. So like, I don't really want to spend $20. So I think what I'm going to do, y'all decide for me. No, okay. I think I'm going to get this one. And then I think because it's so long, I don't really need that length. I think I can just cut the bottom off and turn that into a second panel with my handy dandy needle and thread because I just think even though this is pretty I'm just afraid it'll give me away and the whole point here is to be stealthy all right 
All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna go with that one. I was literally in the store for like two hours. I think it was like a full two hours to buy the like four things that I bought. I had a little bit of decision paralysis. I could not decide how I should address the certain, the different leaking light situations that I have in the van. And I literally was in there for two hours. So now I am worn the F out. <laughs> I don't know how much is actually going to get done today, but I'm going to go to the park. I'm going to make myself a little something to eat and I'm going to see if I can rally. But you know, some of it might get done tomorrow. I might take a nap. I don't know, man. That really wore me out. Decision making is hard, y'all. Is that still a thing? Am I going to get busted? One of these days I'm going to show up on this video and I'm going to have red lipstick on. I have always wanted to be a red lipstick girl, but I can't stand other forms of makeup. Also, I'm too lazy to put it on, but also I just really hate the feel of like foundation or powder on my face. I can't stand when I can't like rub my eyes because I have mascara on. So I can't, I don't want the full face and it always just seems so silly to me to put red lipstick on. I wasn't going to wear anything else, you know what I mean? Like that's a little bit weird, but I'm going to tell you what, y'all have given me courage that I didn't even know that I had and I'm starting to think I might just have the courage to be a red lipstick girl without the whole face. So you just watch, you just watch. You might end up showing up one day and this lady is gonna have her red lips on and she's gonna be wearing them with style, with no other makeup on, cause who needs it anyway? I mean, I do, but I don't wanna wear it, so there you go. <laughs> you think this will tell us where it all went wrong? Um, excuse me, sir, that's not a van. So in case you didn't know, y'all are badass. And every single one of you that answered my question about whether or not I should turn ads on, said, yes, indeed, you should turn the ads on. Not one of you said no, which is like, yo, I just, I keep getting bowled over by the support. It's so wild and so exciting. And it turns out I was wrong. I couldn't not turn the ads on anyway. <laughs> Lovely Bunny from Bunny Plays Here. She has a channel, I'm sure y'all already know about her. And if you don't, definitely go check her out. I will uh, link her down below. I think you'll like her. And uh, she took the time to explain to me that even if I say, no, I'm, I don't want none of the ad revenue, they will put their ads on anyway. Which is like, excuse the heckity heck out of me, YouTube. I'm just getting to know these people. If I wanted to take some time, if they wanted me to take some time before I put ads on there, I would have liked that option. But apparently I didn't even have the option. They're going to put the ads on there either way. And I can just choose whether or not I actually get a cut of it or not. But I can't choose whether they play or not. Luckily, I can choose whether like whether they play in the middle of videos or if they're just going to play on like the beginning and the ends. So I have turned off the middle of the videos because since my videos are almost never 30 minutes long and I have a thing in my mind, I guess from growing up in uh, the TV age, where like, I feel like you should be able to watch something for like 15, at least 15, 20 minutes before you get an ad break. And so I don't, I don't feel cute about having ads any more than like every 15 minutes. So I did turn off the mid roll ads for right now. My videos are all under 30 minutes. It doesn't feel cute in my heart to put an ad in the middle of that. Anyway, so it turns out I could not turn them on anyway. It doesn't matter because y'all are all so dang old, dang old supportive and totally fine with me having them on. So I have reached that goal, which is so insane. How did that happen? I just don't know. But Man, my gratefulness knows no bounds about it. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, it's really, really exciting. Just wanted to pop in here and say that. I don't know why I'm saying pop in here because like obviously this is gonna go into the middle of a video so I'm not really popping anywhere, but you know what I mean, right? I feel like you do. I feel like we're, you know, copacetic. Springing in the USA. Yo, the nicest lady just brought me a chicken. She had some extra chicken and she brought me, look. I have a hot chicken to have for lunch. <laughs> that is so cool. Anyway, I just uh, want to tell y'all about it because I got to tell my besties about everything, of course, right? I have met an enemy I cannot defeat. This thing. I have been just dealing with it, stubbing my toe on it, just trying to ignore it. And so today, ugh, I tried to remove it. Like the splinter it is in my thumb. And I don't know if it's just that I am a mega weakling. I mean, I am a bit of a weakling. So it could be that if I have the wrong tool, if I need like a power tool. It 
it ain't happening. I have been defeated in my own home. Another day, nut bolt, whatever you are. Another day, I will have my revenge. Excellent news, I just got the notice that Asurian, which is the company that I had my solar power panel, power pay, power battery, battery bank power station thing, <laughs> I had it insured through Asurian. Cause you know, when you buy something from Amazon, they're like, hey yo, you wanna buy this insurance? We'll cover you if you spill anything on it. And I'm like, I will spill something on it. So I will definitely buy that insurance. And I did indeed spill water on my portable power station thingy thing. And then I went to go file the claim and they're like, um, actually you, this portable power station, the Kufly portable power station that you have filed a claim on, um, we can't cover it because we only cover portable things. And I was like, um, could you take a look at the title of the product? So after some back and forth and some very sad moments when I thought maybe I was really going to be without a refrigerator because I could not replace that battery at all. Like I just don't have the money to replace that battery and I thought I'm out of a refrigerator. But after some back and forth and my pointing out the fact that the very name of the thing is that it is a portable power station, they have approved my claim. I'm just waiting for the shipping label so that I can send it back to them. That means that probably within maybe a month or so, maybe, I'll have that extra battery, that second battery again, and that means I'll have my refrigerator and laptop power, and that means I'll be able to go back out and search for camping out there and maybe get into some scary situations, but at least I'll have the camera this time and y'all can come with me. Okay, so maybe I didn't get the Light Leap Project even started yesterday. Well, that's not true. I went to the store, I bought the stuff. That's starting, right? <laughs> anyway, maybe I did not really start the project yesterday, but that's all right because this is completely unrelated, but I am going to the movies with my daughter today. So like, it's all right. <laughs> I don't know how they're related, but in my mind, somehow they are. We are gonna go see the Bob Marley movie, which I am so stoked about. I have been, I would say Bob Marley has been like an important part of my life since I'm like 14 years old, y'all. So this is a big deal. I'm really excited and I'm really excited that my daughter wanted to come with me. She's often not interested in the movies that I'm interested in, but luckily this time she was. So we're gonna go and we're gonna Bob Marley it and we're gonna don't worry about thing. But since I was not near my Planet Fitness, I just came to the city parking lot bathroom to do a little sponge bath so I can smell fresh for the Marley man. And uh, I was just thinking, man, like I could 100% write a love letter to city parks. Dearest city park, thank you just for existing. Thank you city parks for having bathrooms that I, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> that I can take a bit of a bath in. Thank you for having water for me to drink. Thank you for having benches for me to sit upon. Thank you for having grass for me to frolic upon. Thank you for your trash receptacles. Thank you for ample people watching opportunities. And thank you for a parking lot to let the sun do its magic. The movie was good honestly it's hard for me to even like say whether or not the movie was done well because it doesn't matter even if it had been a totally crappy movie it would have been so freaking impactful to me because Bob Marley has been such a huge like part of my musical life he's been so important to that part of my life since I was like 14 so I don't even know maybe it was a totally crappy movie I, but I don't think it was I don't think it was I think that the beginning was a little bit artsy fartsy I'm not a big artsy fartsy like indie like art house style I think it's called I feel like smarter people get that than, <laughs> than me it ended up not being that way the whole movie and um like the last like quarter of the movie was very blurry and I don't know if that it might have had something to do with the fact that I was crying the entire time. Bob, why didn't you cut the toe off? Anyway, really good movie. Or maybe totally bad. I don't know. Don't take my word for it because it was about Bob Marley and I would have loved it no matter what. Just let's be real. Spring, do your thing.
So I did not uh, even start work on that project that I bought this stuff for. <laughs> but next week though, I'm sure we'll get, we'll do better, we'll do better. I am now actually sitting in the parking lot of the library waiting for it to open. The uh, magical sun has dipped behind the clouds again. So in order to have enough power to edit my video, I'm gonna go to the library and I'll tell you what, I could also write a love letter to the library. It sure does deserve it. This video wouldn't even get out this week if it wasn't for the library. So thank you, thank you library. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for the week. I really actually was really hoping that I would have like a project video for you and it would be like an actual like, you know, a full on, I don't know, more cohesive. Cause I know that my videos are just kind of like, chuk -up, chuk -up, chuk -up, chuk -up, chuk -up. <laughs> just like little snippets, you know? And I was hoping to kind of do a little bit more of a cohesive thing this week, but you know, that's just not how my brain works. My brain is not cohesive y'all. My brain works in that's how it works. So I guess that's just how this video is going to be and probably the majority of them. So thank you for loving me anyway. Okay. Love you. Bye.